one of the things that we try to find out <laughs> for what purpose if not for political gains mm -hmm. those who are friends to the political team to be awarded after a brilliant result in their various regions <laughs> these are what the institutions have been reduced to those who have been nominated or appointed director of the school of agronomy mm -hmm. school of agriculture school of dress faculty of what has become of them if it they have been in those centers she was stationed. She was stationed. <laughs> One of the things I begin to see is that Cameroon has the ability, theor theoretically, to create institutions, but has no ability to evaluate the efficacy yeah. of those institutions. It's a formality. What have they served the nation? <coughs> if studies carried out and Ban Mayo has not improved the quality of our forest, Meaning bringing in new breed of trees that are adapted instead of trees to cover shelter for sun, <laughs> which we see today, Operation 1 million trees. And they ask you, for what purpose is that tree of economic importance? Because if a forest tree cannot create value to the community, why do we even plant it? We are in a country where everything must be economically oriented. For what nature? Is it improving the fertility of the soil? For what purpose and which trees are they going to depend on the fertility in which that tree is generating? Mm -hmm. Meaning there should be a subsidiary to the main program for what economic benefit. But what do we do? NGOs, organizations, the government, they embark on planting of trees to call international attention and lobby for funding. Okay, and I when the see. funds come in, what do we do with the funds? A lot of research in Cameroon it's cupboard research. Yeah. Cupboard research in the past, it used to be announced over the national and international media that there will be a PhD thesis today at the University of this. It was a state issue. It was the duty of the Minister of Higher Education to announce all PhDs being published yearly. But today, they yes. are done we as a personal family <laughs> affair. <laughs> at times, even some departments in the university are not even aware that PhD defense is going on today. Very correct. The public nature of a PhD defense gives you at times the usefulness, if not to the community, if not to the village, but even within the scholarly network within the same university. Some don't even notice it. Yes, you are in the domain. Some of us carry out the legal implication of our environmental pollution along the Gulf of Guinea. It is my domain. Hmm. When I see people doubting whether they should construct gutters, and you ask, people will ask you, what is the raison d'etre of canalizing waters in Douala? If we know the importance of canalization of upstream waters, we know the importance of what it will equally generate to the nation. When I sat and I look at what is going on around Carrefour, Cité de Palmier, and even somewhere around Sable Bonamusadi, that when we were talking that there's a need to canalize water, the council did not see the important that those areas may tomorrow serve as green zones <laughs> where people can develop scenery for just leisure. Yes. And leisure to 200 francs goes to the council. And when people point. just sit resting, you pay your 200, you sit. Those who have their money create small, small bars and small snacks, small games for kids. The economic interest behind that, nobody ever realized that if we spend 11 billion to canalize streams and gutters in Douala. The economic impact is for a lifetime. Yeah. Exactly, boy. Nobody? Nobody knows of environmental insurance, which all of us are victims. Environmental insurance is that everything we do has an impact on the environment. Just your pool, you have a right to pay just 200 francs mm -hmm. within the tax you are collected. And that tax should be directed towards maintaining the quality of the environment. Nobody is aware. They are written there. Brilliant things Cameroonians have written. I'm telling you. But since the, the, cupboard, the thing as is, a cupboard research, uh, uh, and one please, uh, Prof, you realize that the ministry is not even interested whether research very good is boy. That is it. The question we have asked. I asked this question on what they brought, they call the white book of higher education in Cameroon, the new wrong. program HND, MDD, bachelor, whatsoever. <laughs> DDB. DDB. They have given them wonderful names. Doctor of Business Administration. And I asked, what is the relationship between academics? And the professional world. What is the reason, the link between academics and the need of the economy? If you want to create a school of agriculture, there should be a direct link.
between the educational centers and the actors in agriculture. We don't just carry our research. Maybe people are not aware that what you call iPhone 10, iPhone 15, Samsung 1, Samsung, they are research carried out in various laboratories. Mm -hmm. Telling them that today we can improve, and the next one will be Promax, and another one will be Hyphex, whatsoever. This one will be Spiral, this will be Skyrocket. This is a research. What happened? Those companies pay for their research. At the time is not even the government. Apple pay heavily for research. And yet, somewhere when you watch National Joe, you realize that we, we have a weakness in all domains. Some people have generated rats that are capable of fighting the rats in the house. Yeah. Meaning, through research, a lot of anti rats fighters, you invent another environment and you chase instead the wicked rat Very from good. your homes. Very good. Which ratization is a problem in terms like Twala. A very big problem. This is a common problem which can be resolved. I saw research in somewhere around France. People got, got into uh, trying to grow up butterflies. Mm -hmm. a a, some people's research is how to multiply the number of butterflies. Even the growing and bacteria. Sit, good. And then mm -hmm. you sit here and ask maybe, what is really the use of butterflies? We have sat somewhere and see how whites are fighting <laughs> to grow the number of honeybees. Mm -hmm. He's not talking of the bee oil. He's talking of honeybees. How can we multiply them? They have a direct impact with agriculture. If your agricultural land needs to produce enormously, one of the greatest actors we need is a butterfly and a bee. But how do we cross We even burn them. Exactly. We burn them we quietly. Them. When they are your enemies in your farm, you just set fire and burn them. So are we even educated? So, so honey, they for this size, uh, uh, kill them. Yes! <laughs> Doctor, I think that uh, to a certain extent, this country has been led by either those that do not like it or those that are qualified to be where they are supposed to be. Because we take the case of the Minister of Environment. Prof, you know I don't like eating words. When you talk like that, it should not be like you don't know the truth. <laughs> the fact is that we are governed by those who are not aware of what they are supposed to do. Exactly. When you take a medical doctor and send him in the domain of geography. Exactly. When you carry somebody who is not even a technocrat in a particular domain and put him in a hole, that is not well fitted. What results do you intend? Imagine somebody who has never done a civil engineering to become a public work minister. You, what quality do you want in productivity? Somebody that has not studied finance, becoming the minister of finance. What financial operation do we intend to have? So somewhere, the state has failed to create an institution. <coughs> uh, French people will tell you, and cadre, the future of the nation in various domains. In every domain of education, and at the level of the Ministry of Higher Education, there's supposed to be somebody in charge of specific domains, which are priority domains. Meaning that you have director in charge of information and technology, information and telecommunication technology. We need to have somebody of that nature. Agricultural development, the moment there's a thesis, you pick it over. What can government benefit from this? Exactly. That's what is going on in Every the, the government is supposed to send people to go there and live in a domain. Attendance. There's a commission for that. And we should see the results. If just decide, yeah, we can program it. Somebody said long-term development in 30 years' time. Why not? By 15 years after, we should be able to evaluate what the research has given. Mm -hmm. Yes. Said, Americans and most advanced state, please, they will tell you that there is no need for a research topic mm -hmm. if it cannot add value exactly to the environment in which it is found. Exactly, boy. And so, <coughs> people who ask you whether the topic is researchable, or is significant enough the, in the environment in which it is. The importance of the research. The importance of the research. To the nation. To the nation, to, to the, the people that were around. Exactly. If you cannot have, at times, some go in other domains, they get into monetary aspect even. Some research calculate the monetary aspect or economic benefit in the next 10 years. If this is done, this is a real Cameroon and the government, professors, lecturers, teachers in primary and secondary education, they are aware of the output of every domain. Okay, yes. the, oh, oh, let me just take Nelson Mandela once told us 